Oh, the Cubs and Reds. Top two, no score. Barry Larkin in third following a double and a sacrifice. Mike Kelly, I'm feeling you, kid. I am feeling you. To right field off of Castillo. Sammy Sosa gives chase. Larkin scores easily. The former MVP. Kelly slides in. His first triple of the year. Reds up one zip. Top four Reds up three love and looking for more Deion Sanders grounder. Snagged by a saving Mark Grace. Tosses to Frank Castillo covering. Deion though still blew up. He was three for five hitting. Top five things get a little heated. Castillo hits Larkin in the back. Larkin picks up the bat. No, we're not having a John Roseboro, Juan Marishaw episode again, but who words, words. Top seven, four zip reds. Larkin gets his revenge. Facing Ramon Tatis, and Tatis got tattooed. Larkin's second homer of the year. He was two for three on the day. Reds win this game five to one. Pete Shurik, the winner, goes to four and four. So after 15, three games, kid, bottom four. Scott Spezio faces Pat Hinkin, and Spezio rocks Hinkin's world. Deep to the gap and right, Jason Jambi scores. Geronimo Barroa also comes around. Spezio, two for three, three RBI on the night. It's his first major league triple, two one A's. Then Spezio in the field, Ariel Preto facing Orlando Merced. The shot goes off Scott Sheldon to Spezio, touches second and then flips to first for the unassisted double play. Then Spezio makes another bid in the seventh. To the gap, but Otis Nixon says, I love you, man. He kept Spezio from going three for three. Still, nice night. Good night for the A's. They went at 12 7. Jose Canseco and Spezio each drove in three runs to hand the ball. The Yankees so far hosting the Phillies. Bottom Ramos. of the first, no score. Edgar nice Ramos facing Carl Everett and then turning his back when Everett hits it deep to right center for the solo homer. His fourth, 1 0 Mets. Top of the fourth, still 1 0 Mets. Base is loaded on walks. 0 and 4, Dave Malicki facing Mike Lieberthal. He was just setting it all up. Six, four, three. The double play scores Darren Dalton to tie it at one, but he gets out of the jam. Bottom of the fourth, still tied. One out, base is empty. Todd Hundley, deep to right. His 12th, 2 1 Mets. Bottom of the fifth, nobody out, nobody on. Butch Husky, 432 feet. That's halfway to Piscataway. The Mets' third solo homer in this one. They lead it 3 to 1 and go on to win it 7 to 3. Dave Malicki. Of the third, one nothing Orioles. Ripken smash off Charles Nagy's glove. Roberto Alomar beats Omar Vizquel's throw home. Two nothing Orioles. But the story was Musina. Very first hitter he faces, Marquise Grissom. You get a feeling something's going to happen. Third batter, Jim Tomey. Gets him looking at the breaking ball. Musina is striking out two of his first three hitters. Second inning. When the tribe wasn't was making contact, it wasn't very solid. Matt Williams breaking his bat on the bouncer back to Musina. Tribe interim manager Jeff Newman filling in for Mike Hargrove, who was attending his daughter's graduation. Good move on Grover's part. Musina continuing to dominate. Third inning gets Fernandez on the nasty curve. Then in the fourth, he gets Franco to chase high heat. In the fifth, Musina totally fooling Williams with the slider. Six strikeouts and perfect through five for Musina. In the sixth, Musina gets Sandy Alomar looking at the outside corner. Alomar. 375 with a homer lifetime against Musina coming in. Then two out in the sixth, Omar Vizquel chase, chases the high heat. Musina perfect through six. And in fact, perfect through six and a third with Julio Franco at the plate. Franco grounds one toward Robbie Alomar. <laughs> he makes the play in short right field. That was the Indians' best chance in the seventh. In the eighth, with one out, Dave Justice hitting 391 against the league, two for three against Musina last weekend in Cleveland. But a fly ball. Next hitter, Ramirez, flying meekly to right on his 25th birthday. The Indians not even close in this game. You've seen it perfect through eight. Went out to the ninth, saying he was amazed it was still alive. Shouldn't have been to the ninth. The Orioles bench silent. Leadoff hitter, Tony Fernandez, at the plate. The ground ball to Alomar. That's not going to do it. One out. The next hitter up, Sandy Alomar, who had struck out the two previous times up. Alomar rips a base hit to left. It breaks up the no-hitter. It breaks up Musina's bid for the 13th perfect game in modern Major League history. Let's take another look at Musina's reaction to Alomar's single. The hit? Ah, uh, yeah, one of those nights, huh? But then Musina comes right back. Gets a strikeout of Brian Giles and then a strikeout of Grissom. He strikes out 10. The Orioles win it 3 0. 10 strikeouts for Musina. It was his second career one hitter, the other against Texas in 92. The last time he's in Boston. Think he knows somebody? Think he is somebody. Huh? <laughs> Move on. 12th homer of the year in the third off Ramiro Mendoza. Red Sox up 2 0. Next inning, Sox up 7 0. Danny Rios making his major league debut. He had just given up a home run to Will Cordero, the first big league hitter he'd faced. Vaughn was the second, and he hits a home run. It's 8 0 Sox. Bottom of the eighth. 
Graham Lloyd on the mound, and Vaughn blasts another homer. His third of the night off three different pitchers, all solo shots. His second three-homer game, his other in September of last year against the Orioles. Sox win it 10-4. They Jose Vizcaero fouls one back on Javi Lopez. He leave the game. X-rays negative. Bottom four, though. Man on for Ryan Klesko. What do you do when you see garbage laying around? You take it out. Klesko's eighth shot of the year. Two zip Braves. Tied it to the seventh. Two on for Michael Tucker. No one out. Tucker lays down the sacrifice bunt. 20-year-old Andrew Jones gunned down at third. Bobby Cox says, I beg to differ. Or words to that effect. Or he says to the ump, you so ugly when they took you to the zoo, the man at the front door said, thanks for bringing him back. Whatever he said, he got tossed. Next play now with one on. I think it was the line about the monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Rich Rodriguez nails Kenny Lofton to a board. Caught him. Lofton, the third best base dealer in the NL, got played. Still tied at two in the ninth. Tucker swinging, but Lofton gets his 17th stolen bag this year. But wait, Dusty Baker says, what about interference there? Nothing doing, Dusty. Next pitch, Tucker. Yes, indeedy. Lines one down the right field line. Kenny Lofton scores. Tucker's 28th RBI this year, hitting 328. Braves win it 3 2. Giants three game winning streak done. Kaput finished. Mark Wall the rapper. I put my Here's bat up on the right. pitch. When I dipped, you dipped, we dipped. Center, he he dipped Pat Rapp. 13th back. home run of the year. 451 it's feet it's for the Big run. Cat. Four feet shorter than his blast on Thursday. Anyway. Roger Bailey. Pitching, Luis Castillo, one sharp to the hole, but Walt Weiss, the only player who's ever played for the Marlins and Rockies, got him. Bottom eight threes at Rockies. John Cangelosi on first through Roger Bailey's legs. Quentin McCracken, doink, his second error of the year. Cangelosi scores from first. Castillo ends up on third. Same inning, 3-2 Rockies. Curtis Lestanek facing Bobby Bow. Got him. Lestanek K, the guy hitting 330. Then Jeff Conine in a 9 for 61 slump. Slump this, dude. Conine, sixth homer of the year. Year. We are tied at three. Bottom ten, game tied. Runners at first and second for Bobby Bonilla. Mike Dijon on the mound. Bonilla takes Dijon to left center, but Qu Quentin McCracken, an old football player from Duke, runs it down. Runners advance to second and third. Same inning. Conine with a chance to win it. Dijon still pitching. Conine grounds to short for a routine 6-3. Jeff, don't throw your helmet. Don't, don't. Uh, Jeff. Bottom 12, still tied. Devon White on third for Bobby Bow. Bobby Bow with a fat bat. Over Andres Galarraga's head, his 30th RBI this year. Bobby Bow hitting two for five on the night. Marlins win it 4-3. Steve Reed blows his fourth save in the last. Uh, facing Ken Griffey Jr. in the bottom of the first. Griffey hits it deep to right, halfway to Spokane. It's off the fair pole. Griffey's 24th in the first two months, his eighth in the last 16 games. one nothing M's. Bottom of the fifth, Russ Davis at third. Joey Cora at bat 0 for 2 so far. It's the fly ball to right field, or left field rather. Bobby Higginson under it, makes the catch. Davis coming home, the throw to the plate. He's out of there. Higginson's seventh assist. It's a wow from Cora. Top of the sixth, 2 1 M's. Jeff Vassero uncorks the wild pitch. Brian Hunter scores. That would tie the game at two. Top of the seventh. Tigers up 3 2. Protecting the lead with some defense. Watch this. Davy Cruz gets Paul Sorrento. Then in the bottom of the eighth, Cora's last chance to get a hit. He takes the pitch on 3 0. Ball four ends the hit streak at 24. And the Tigers stop the Mariners 5 2. Learns away from the Sox. Hit the record three RB eye away from the Sox record for a month. Cal Eldred on the second pitch of the game nails Drew Coble on the arm. He has to leave the game. X-rays were negative on the arm. Top second. Albert's got a 24-game streak. Make it 25 with the base hit on his first at bat. He goes one for three in the game. Top of the fourth. Frank Thomas having a bad night. Struck out on three pitches his first at bat. This is his second time around. Called. Swinging. Called out on an inside pitch. Six pitches, two strikeouts. That's Frank Thomas. You don't do that to him. Tim McClellan does more than that to him. In fact, he's going to give Mr. Thomas an early shower. This is the home plate umpire who wasn't supposed to be the home plate umpire. Bottom of the eighth, one nothing Brewers. With the bases loaded, Jeff Cirillo of James Baldwin. Cirillo now five out of eight with eight RBIs against Baldwin. Brewers win at 5-0. Career. Bottom nine tied at one. John Mabry on second. Royce Clayton rocks one to left. Todd Hollinsworth, though, in left field. Kid with the gun down 9 1 1. Mabry is meat at the plate. Hollinsworth, nice throw, making up for an 0 for 3 day at the plate. Bottom nine, Darren Hall intentionally walks Willie McGee to load the bases. Bill Russell goes to the bullpen for Mark Guthrie to face former Dodger Delano DeShields. One, two, three, four straight balls. 
Mark Sweeney comes in to score. Cards win it 2-1. Basically, Mark Guthrie walked in, walked Delano to Shields, walked out. Later, he replied, I've never done that before. Chris Holt facing Will Kinane. Kinane making his first major league start as a pitcher, brings the wood with his bat, but he's spoken. Off of Howard's glove, two-run triple for Kinane, the pitcher. He was two for three. He's hitting five, 500. Howard says, you sure it was, it was fair? Two batters later, Tony Gwynn. You know he's been like butter because he is on a serious roll. Up the middle, Kinane comes home. Two RBI for Gwynn. Tony hitting 408. He's a seven-time batting champ. Bruce Bochy, though, likes the offense, but Gwynn will leave with a strained hamstring. Next batter, Steve Finley staffing Ramon Garcia. Ramon, you lost. Finley. Hummed it to right. Fifth home run of the year. Padres going to win it 9-2. Padres snap a five-game skid. Behind the Royals, top of the second. Bobby Witt looking for win number eight until Johnny Damon takes him deep to right. Fourth of the year for Damon, who's a 388 hitter lifetime against the Rangers. 2-1 KC. Bottom of the fourth. Royals up 3-1. Will Clark taking Glendon Rush deep to right. His seventh of the year. The solo shot makes it 3-2 Royals. Bottom of the eighth. Still 3-2. Two on, two out. Lee Stevens line drive hits Randy Varis. Bounces right to Jay Bell for the force play. Better to be lucky than good. 3-2 Royals after eight. Bottom of the ninth. Pichardo, Pichardo on to close. It's Newsom swinging. Gets Rodriguez swinging. Gets Damon Buford to pop up weakly to Jeff King down the first baseline to end the game. The eighth save for Pichardo. Royals win at 3-2. Bobby Wick a gallon or two. Bottom of the second. One out. Eddie Murray facing Bob Tewksbury. Holy cow! Murray puts this one out to pasture. 420 feet away. The 504th of his career. Top of the fourth. Jason Dixon pitching to leadoff batter Greg Myers. Myers utterly fooled. The bat goes flying where it scares the uh, you-know-what out of the young fan. Dixon went on to strike out the side. Top seven. Two out. 3-3. Three, three. Darren Jackson at third. Dixon facing Matt Lawton. Nook does a body good. Lawton delivers the RBI single to center. He also had an RBI double. Twins win it 4-2-3. Angels stay a game behind the losing range.